Welcome to this week's edition of CFC Scene. I'm Nate Newberry. Graffiti has been looked down upon for many years now, and even though it's illegal, new murals and drawings are continuing to pop up all over the city. One local resident tries to prove that this rapidly growing art form doesn't just serve to deface property. Douglas the Sheet Man Panzone is considered a local legend in the graffiti world. His work has been featured in such magazines as the New York Times. I'm standing in the Burl Shopping Center located in James Island. Uh, Passerbys can see the local sports bar, Buffalo South, alongside several abandoned buildings. But little do these passerbys know that Panzone's life work is just on the other side of the building. The Sheet Man has posted over a dozen murals on this strip mall's brick walls. He was allowed to do this after reaching an agreement with store owners who thought his work would be an upgrade from the raunchy graffiti that was previously there. Countless people drive by every day to witness these astonishing paintings. The 26-year-old Mississippi native got his nickname by frequently drawing a picture of a sheep's body and a man's head. Most of Panzone's artwork can be found at local bars, restaurants, and youth centers, but he has also taken his work international as he traveled to Italy for one project. Well, do you think his artwork should be uh, illegal, and do you think he's doing a good thing by uh, putting it up in different spots in the community? Uh, I would say absolutely not. I don't think it should be illegal at all, especially if the business or person wants it there, then I think it's perfectly fine and a uh, good place for it. It's uh, pretty cool. I'd, I wouldn't really call it graffiti. I'd call it more of a mural, and he should be getting paid for it, even though he's trying to not, I guess. But it's way better than most graffiti. Sheet Man teamed up with the College of Charleston to create his most recent work. The college allowed him to paint a 130 foot long, 14 foot tall mural on the side of the Liberty Street Residence Hall. Since it can only be seen by the dorm's residents, the Board of Architectural Review granted Panzone permission to showcase his skills. The name of the colossal mural is Convergence. For his own reasons, he chooses to keep his distance from reporters and their interviews. However, he does have a website in which you can leave your contact information and hope he gets back to you. Further information regarding Douglas Sheepman Panzone and his art can be found at www.douglaspanzone.com. Reporting for CFC Scene, I'm Nate Newberry. Now back to the studio.